Strandberger, and my reverse engineering project was a pin. As you can see, there's the pin, and this is my assembly view of where I put all these pieces together to get the pin. Um, the one thing that I changed from the original pin would be this metal clip right here. I changed it to just one solid piece. And so that way, now instead of having three individual pieces right here where you have to make them fit together to where they'll stay, you just have one solid mold that you would make and then mold them, fill it all in and get one piece all together. Uh, I guess the mechanics of the pin that I learned were this is, I call this the female part, and that's the male part. And what they did is whenever you push the button, they would rotate and it would push the pin up and then whenever you would push it again the slits on the inside of this, the, the clip, would fall through these grooves and that would make it go back down. Um, this is my uh, parts list with the function, the material, texture, and the interaction with other parts. This is all my parts with the mass, surface area, and volume. And then these are my DWG files that I created on Inventor with all of the dimensions for every piece that I had. Um, so yeah, are there any questions? No questions? Way forward. Way forward. How, how did you feel about making this on Inventor? Um, it was difficult at times, but one, with the training that Mr. Geyser has given me, uh, it made it a lot easier to make all these pieces using all the work planes and revolving and stuff. So it was difficult, but easy, I guess. Any more questions?